the Paraguayan economy could lose more than $200 million annually if the country's lawmakers pass a recently introduced bill to ban crypto mining in the country. Lawmakers introduced the draft bill on April 4th, claiming illegal cryptocurrency mines are stealing power and disrupting the country's electricity supply. If passed, the ban would last 180 days or until new laws are enacted and the national power grid operator can ensure it can supply sufficient energy. Uh, but a ban on lawful miners operating in the region could prove costly for the South American country. According to Hashtabs Mining's co-founder and chief mining strategist, Jaron Malarud, who recently spoke of Crypto Moon, a uh, markets of this size aren't common in Paraguay either, uh, which boasts a rather small population of 6.8 million people and the 94th largest gross domestic product in the world by $41.7 billion, according to Worldometer, citing 2022 data. Uh, Bitcoin mining has provided a significant positive contribution to Paraguay's trade balance. Up until this point, Nellerud argued, uh, Bitcoin mining firms currently need to register and receive authorization from the Paraguayan Ministry of Industry and Commerce. If passed, the bill may impact one of the industry's largest players, Marathon Digital Holdings, which started deploying 27 megawatts around the Itaipu hydroelectric power plant last November. And then the Itaipu Dam has become a popular site for miners to set up as it supplies all of Paraguay's local electricity needs and leaves a large amount of excess electricity to tap into. A large amount of this excess electricity has historically been exported to Brazil at low prices. However, Nellerud noted that a wave of Bitcoin miners has swooped in at slightly higher prices in recent months. And, uh, the lawmakers say there have been 50 cases of interrupted power supply linked to cryptocurrency miners illegally tapping into these electricity sources since February alone. Uh, and, and the country's National Electricity Administration estimates each cryptocurrency mining operation has caused damages and losses up to 94,900 and that total annual losses in the Alto Prana area where the Itaipu power plant is based could be up to $60 million. Uh, illegal operations can be harmful to the grid. Uh, if, if it draws too much electricity from low voltage lines, Nellerud acknowledged. A similar situation played out in Kazakhstan uh, a few years ago, ultimately leading to the Kazakh government cracking down on the industry and kicking illegal mining operators out of its possible. And so Nellerud previously told Crypto Moon that Paraguay, along with Argentina, would take in an influx of United States-based miners looking to expand or even migrate to the energy-rich nations due to lower electricity costs. Uh, the controversy in Paraguay comes as Bitcoin miners prepare for the upcoming Bitcoin halving event expected to take place on April 20th, which will slice minor rewards from 6.25 Konami and Bitcoin to 6.125 Konami dollars to 6 with the 185 ME and $217,000.